Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial to show you how I made this really cute cake designed after the Very Hungry Caterpillar book. So let's get right into it. I'm starting out with an 8 inch round cake which I have already iced and if you need to see how to do that you can just check out some of my previous videos. I'm rolling out some white fondant onto a cornstarch surface and I'm aiming to get that to be about an eighth of an inch thick. Once I have it how I want it, I'm going to pick that up and gently drape that over my chilled cake. And then using my hands and my fondant smoother, I'm going to work my way around the cake, pushing out all that air and then securing the sides all the way down to the bottom, just pulling out that skirt and smoothing it down. Trim away the excess with a very sharp knife or a pizza cutter and then run your fondant smoother over that cake one more time. Next I'm going to set that aside and move on to my caterpillar cake topper. If you look at the caterpillar, he's a bunch of different colors of green so I've dyed some fondant a light green, like a medium bluey green and then a darker green. I rolled each color out into sausages and kind of blob shapes and mushed them together like this and then I'm going to take that whole thing and twist it and roll it out and keep twisting it so you kind of get like a tie dye effect. Be careful not to knead your fondant at this point. You don't want to mix the colors together. You want to make sure they remain separate. Once you have it the way you want it, you're going to roll it out onto your counter in a long thick snake. And then I just used a reference photo and arranged my caterpillar the way that I thought he looked good and flattened that against my work surface with my hand. And then one end I used a sharp knife just to blunt that, just to cut it off so his head is going to fit snugly in that spot. At this point you should have something that looks kind of like this. I transferred him onto a piece of parchment paper and then using my sculpting tool I'm going to start indenting the lines to make him look a little more caterpillary. You just want to make sure that you're not cutting through him, just indent deep enough to make him look a little bit separated. That sounds weird. Next, I'm adding two skewers into each half of him so that he will stand up when I put him on my cake. For the head, I rolled out some red fondant into a ball and then squished that down against my counter. And then one side of that I flattened so that it would fit nicely against my body. I just used some water to attach this, but you could also use some piping gel. 
Ideally, you want to make your caterpillar a couple days in advance. I made mine a week ahead, but if you don't have as much time, you can also add some Tylos powder to your caterpillar and that should help him firm up faster. I'm going to start making some of the goodies that are going to go on the outside of my cake. There are so many to choose from in the book, but I just went with the watermelon, the pear, the plum, the cheese, the banana, and the ice cream. I used my X-Acto knife and my circle cutters and my piping tips to make these shapes. Whatever you make, just make sure that you are putting a hole somewhere on there for the spot where he's eaten through. Add those around my cake using some water and I've used some black food coloring gel and a fine tip paintbrush for the watermelon seeds and a brown edible food marker and some brown color dust for the banana.
Before adding my caterpillar to my cake, I'm going to finish his face. I'm using some green and yellow fondant for his eyes and then black fondant for his nose. And I'm rolling out his antennas in long teardrop shapes. And I'm just gonna wait for those to um, firm up a bit before I add them. Make sure that he is completely dry before you stick him into your cake. Anywhere where the skewer was poking through, I added some brown fondant for his little feet. And then using the end of my paintbrush, I made some holes in the top of his head and added in my antennas. And there he is. I think he turned out so, so cute. I finished off this cake by adding some colorful circles to the bottom, but you could also use some gumballs. This is really perfect for a first birthday or a baby shower, anything where cuteness is needed. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week.